Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, and I'm thrilled that you've joined me here for Five Minutes with Phil. Hey, if we could be a blessing to somebody that you care about, maybe with one of these specific Five Minutes devotionals or, or all of them, whatever the case might be, feel free to share the link with a friend, uh, somebody that you think could benefit from this. Uh, we are all about that. We, we just want to help people and uh, be a blessing to as many people as possible. So if we can do that for you, use us. That'd be great. We'd love that. Now, today, we're going to go to the book of Exodus. And for some of you, this will be a familiar story, okay? Because the setting for this, for this story, this scripture, is when Moses was called by God to lead the children of Israel out of captivity, out of Egypt. And he spoke through the burning bush. And uh, I was drawn to this passage because of some of the things that God said to Moses about his people. Because some of the stuff that God had to say about the Israelites, the Lord I believe, would have to say about us as well when we're going through suffering or when we're going through battles or when we're going through difficult times. Um, I, In fact, if you look at the screen, I underlined some words there that really caught my attention. Look at the book of Exodus beginning in verse 7 and go on to verse 8. It says, Then the Lord told him, so the Lord told Moses, okay, I have certainly seen the oppression of my people in Egypt. I have heard their cries of distress because of their harsh slave drivers. Yes, I am aware of their suffering. So I've come down to rescue them from the power of the Egyptians and lead them out of Egypt into their own fertile and spacious land. It is a land flowing with milk and honey. So did you see the words that I underlined there? Um, I was really, really caught by those words because the same, the same thing that God says about the Israelites, I believe he says about us. First of all, he sees us. Secondly, he hears our cries. And thirdly, he's aware of our suffering. And... That, that's good to know. That's good to know. Because I think sometimes when we, when we face battles and we face trials and we face some tough circumstances, we somehow get it in our head that the Lord has kind of turned a blind eye to what we're facing or the Lord maybe is unaware or, or he doesn't care. He doesn't even hear our prayers. And that's not the case. Um, the Lord is very much aware of what I'm facing, what you're facing. He knows. He knows what you're facing today. And he sees it, and he hears every prayer that you have to throw his way. And the, the second verse that we read, God said, I've come down here to rescue my people out of Egypt and bring them to a wonderful place, the promised land. And I want to tell you today that you have this promise that not only does the Lord see and hear your prayers, he sees your situation, he's very much aware of it, but he has come to rescue you from your oppressive situation, from your desperate time, from your difficult situation, and he wants to lead you to his absolute best in your life. And that is something you can, can uh, really trust and rely on, that that's precisely what God wants to do. He wants to rescue you and not just, not just rescue you out of your bad situation, but lead you to a much better place. And so today, we take those words with you today. God is aware of what you're going through. He sees your situation. He hears your cries. He hears your prayers. And he wants to come and rescue you and take you to the place that is his 
absolute best for you. Okay? So live that out today. I hope you'll be blessed by that. God bless you. Love you. Have a great rest of the day. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.